You are now tuned in to a special episode of Contrast News. Today, we talk about Everybody Loves Nati, a six-episode docuseries that follows Dominican reggaeton superstar Nati Natasha. My name is Nati Natasha. My personal life, I've kept to myself until now. Aquí vamos. Hey, Nati, how's it going? I'm Alex Quinn. Hey. We're from Contrast Magazine. Hi, Nati. I am Gigi Rivera, tu fellow Dominicana. I am with oh. Contrast Magazine. Oh. <laughs> Very nice. Eso me gusta, eso me gusta. <laughs> hey, chulo. That's awesome. Nati, your docu-series, Everybody Loves Nati, it premieres November 19th on Prime Video. You've been in the industry for a long time, but you've always been pretty private. So why did you decide that now is the right time for you to show everybody, hey, here's my relationship, here's my career, here's my life as a mom. Why now? Because I've gone through so much always in my life, and I feel like I've, it's always ha- it has always been an obstacle, and thank God that I've, I've been able to move around it and be successful in, in what I love, right? But this process specifically, like the pandemic, which was horrible for everyone, uh, then I try to get pregnant. I can't. I gained like 15 pounds trying to get pregnant with all the hormones and the whole process. Uh, I started working on my music, Natividad, which is the album that I, that I just released not that long ago. Uh, I, I, I got myself only into that, into music. Then I find out that what, what was me- what was impossible happened that was actually being pregnant was crazy to me. And I was like, you know, I think that this is the time to be open with, with my fans. Cause I feel like they've been a part of my whole life of my, de toda mi trayectoria, you know, they supported me. They supported me while I was pregnant when everybody said Nati Natasha was going to disappear because she's going to be a mom. And I'm here like, this is when I feel sexy. This is when I feel beautiful. This is when I feel like more <laughs> motivated you know, to work. I'm here like, what are you talking about? You, I'm like, oh, girl, you tell me I can't touch that. I'm like, I'm touching, I'm touching, I'm touching, I'm touching, right? So what was the best way of telling my fans and telling everybody out there, even the people that don't know me, that probably just know my story, this is how, uh, this is what happened. I, how I started working on the album. I tried to get pregnant. I couldn't. I'm pregnant. I got engaged. Uh, I've been with Rafi for a couple of years now. So how do I tell them? And it's opening the doors of my own home and me telling them. I feel like this experience is the way to do it. How I can be honest with them and how can they see me working on my album Natividad while I'm hiding my pregnancy I feel like it's so many elements I'm just happy and it was a moment to to share with the world I'm ready for it yeah. <laughs> <We're ready. laughs> Nati when was the moment like being in love is incredible I think anybody that has experienced love is extremely blessed at what moment did you realize that you were in love with Rafi Well, we were working together because uh, I went to Puerto Rico, you know, I had duty love, then it went down, you know, and then I was, I saw myself like trying again and again. And I remember he gave me the opportunity, you know, like to work in, in his uh, studio, normal. And then we started, I got signed, we started working together and I feel like we started seeing each other every day, every day. And I was able to see the real Rafi, you know, I was able to see how he, truly believed in me you know and and really let me be who I was and we started just being together every day and I guess we got to know each other so much we got to be friends first Mm. before everything else and I feel like that gave me the opportunity of actually changing my mindset with what love was you know I feel like when someone actually changes what you think about it when you feel like it cannot be successful because you have hear so many stories of, of how it does not work and then you see it in such a different angle for yourself then it, it changed my whole mindset on it and I just loved who he was and obviously now then we have everything together is like I admire him and I love being around him like for sure that's the best with a docu-series you opening you know your life to the public how do you balance and decide like okay I'm going to share this. No, this is too much. I don't want to put that out there. How do you balance that? You don't balance it. You don't <laughs> balance it because once those cameras are on, it's like they have to write. Everything's right. out. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Because there are moments that to me 
were extremely vulnerable. I'm not used to even o- turning on my camera that much, like for yeah. my social media. So those cameras were on and, you know, and I was like, oh yeah, you know, when I'm working, while well, I'm pregnant, while well, I'm this, but remember, you're not thinking about the weird moments. You're just mm-hmm. thinking about, oh yeah, they're going to be in my house, they're going to record and, and you think it's going to be in a different way. And obviously, I mean, we have so much work. We're always working that we don't plan anything. It's like you follow, you follow, you stick yeah. to the schedule and you follow us because we're always running. But when you're in the house and you you go through those moments where you have a very weird, uh, not that positive situation and the cameras are on, I was always one, like, I was looking at it, I'd be like, whoa, you know, you know, this is, um, cameras are on and it's like, you just have to talk about it. And that was really hard for me because I don't talk to anyone like about absolutely anything. And then you get to know these people, like your family already because they're always there so now I'm nervous that the world is gonna see this you know so it's a whole different type of being nervous but it's it's beautiful at the same time for them to get to see that we are who we are by not being perfect Mm -hmm. and I'm sure your fans will appreciate seeing you know you because on Instagram everybody's perfect on stage everybody's perfect but it's different when you're like no this is who I really am so we're gonna I love it Nati, what is your most memorable fan story? Well, there was a fan that actually was about to lose their job in Mexico. I remember they didn't go and they, I don't know how he did it. His name is Tadeo. We're very close right now. He oh. actually stopped going to work. He, I don't know how he got to me, but then I remember like thousands of people were like, you have to see Tadeo and he went to my hotel I received them and from there we've been like super close I feel like all that everything he did like contacting everybody the way he did it was amazing he went to a concert all the way in the back got to, it was crazy got to the front I think that Aww. that's love, 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 love. Everybody Loves Nati will premiere November 19th, 2021 exclusively on Prime Video.